Welcome to yoga, Ani, Rini, and Wendy. Midwinter's day. Having a blanket for this practice as an option, and one way that you can use that is to support your seated pose in the beginning. If you'd like, you can make it a, a thicker fold for more support or more of a cushion. Just come into a seated position and pay attention. Some elevation of your sitting bones, your pelvis can help bring your spine nice and tall. Take a moment with your legs in arranging. A pendicular body, the, the arms and legs. And take a moment to settle. Alignment of your spine, gentle rain, shoulders relaxed down and back. Breath flowing through the central channel. Close your eyes, use your nose, breathe deeply. Listen to the sound of your breathing. Slowly, one more time, settling, deep, slow breath. Trying to meet the practice as you experience it. Focusing on this moment. Let's have a moment to meet ourselves here and listen to what's in your heart, what's in your head. Cultivating an attitude of non-harming compassion towards yourself. So that wherever you are, it is fine. And there can be an attitude also of welcoming at this point of the practice. So that you receive the benefits with an open heart. Inhale deeply. Um, slow exhale. Release your arms down. Refine your foundation if you need to at any point. Please take your left arm up overhead into a side bend, calm down. Breathe in, exhale, pull your elbow into the side of your body, palm forward. Let's do that about four more times. Reach up and over, you can side bend. Upright, pull your elbow into your side. Breathe, reach, breathe, pull. Twice more. A little squeeze in your shoulder blades as you bring your elbow down. The other arm is wherever it's comfortable. Exhale one more time. Release both sets of fingertips on the earth. Second side, palm down as you side bend, breathe in. Breathe out, hug your elbow into your ribs as you pull it down. And it should come all the way back up, just part way up. Reach and pull. A few things inspired by some yogi physical therapists in my life. One more time, flow with breath. Exhale, release. Feel breath of fire, navel towards the spine, down low in your belly, place the hand down there, just a little toning, grounding into that center. Like an anchor, reach up your arms, thumbs up, breath of fire, shoulders down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, your own speed 10 times. Tom for breath. Take out the pauses. 10, inhale, breathe deeply, reach your hands. Exhale, breathe out, come down. Pause a moment, feeling that breath of fire. 
and then release your feet out in front of you for butterfly pose, which is the yin style bound angle. Your feet can be away to any degree. And we want to relax the muscles and maybe come forward a small amount or a larger amount. And what this position does is it awakens the energy from the feet, up the legs, across your low back. So through your pelvis and low back, letting that area gently lengthen, be still. Mindfulness is a, is a muscle we have to practice. To cultivate that ability to be present with the body and breath. Maybe three more breaths time, go slowly. Relax your muscles. One more breath out. Rising up and coming to the back of your body into bridge pose. So come off of your blanket support at this point. Come to your back. If you'd like to lie down slowly, you can develop some strength in that process. Resist lying down. Come back. Center your skull, bring in your feet. Ground your arms beside you. When your neck is long, forehead a little higher than the chin. Feel your body touch the earth. Press your feet to lift up, press your heels. Your head might slide away to make room for your spine. Just trying to lift those front hip points towards the sky. Open feet. Once more, add a little energy to that lift. Come down slowly so you massage your spine into the earth as you come down. Feel your low back come down and then spring away, relax. Bring your right foot closer to the midline. So we're trying to find a powerful position for that right leg so that you can bridge up and take your left leg up towards the sky. Use your arms, a little pelvic floor lift as well. Energy, press, one more breath. Come down in your own way, so you can bring your leg down first if you like, or release it second. On the other side, bring your foot a little more towards the middle. You test it out, see if you can press off, refine. And then you try to lift your other leg up towards the sky, hips up, two, third breath, inhale for four, don't give up, one more time, come down carefully, spine, leg, widen your feet again and come up into the regular bridge, turning your palms over towards the sky. So much easier with both legs. Just feel the lightness of this one. Press your heels. And exhale, come down slowly again. Turn your hands back over. Bring them a little higher along your body. Turn out your toes and your knees. I bring both knees over to the right side to any degree. Over to the left side, if your hands want to roll open to the sky again. A few times slowly, side to side. Bringing your hips into internal and external rotation. Once more each way. And back to center, pause, hold still. Deep breath. Exhale, ground into your low belly. 
Bring your knees in, press your ankles, coming up to seated. We get some momentum by bringing your knees towards you. Round your spine, tuck your chin, shoot your legs away and hold on, drop it up. Continue over your feet. Spreading your hands on the earth. Take a moment to send them outward. A little bit spiraling outward energy all the way to the shoulders. And walk back your knees to a knee down plank, plank pose. Hips low, eight breaths. If you have lots of practice with plank, you could lift up on the balls of your feet. Four. But this is plenty challenging. Navel towards the spine to protect your low back. Seven. And eight. Release back, tuck your toes. Arms stretched out, head down, puppy pose. Wag your tail a little bit. Exhale, reach your hips towards your heels, head down. Elbows lifted, armpits lifted. Breathe out once more. Try to stretch your hips away from your hands. Striking cobra practice. We move from this pullback shape to an upward dog or high cobra on the knees. Roll your shoulders back, carefully explore. You don't have to go too far. And exhale, pull back, toe tuck optional. Twice more. This process of bringing the spine into back bend, into extension, gaze down and release back. I think the toe tuck is a little more stable feeling. Coming forward, carefully stretch your belly. Release back. And bring your hands in a little closer. We we'll lift our knees off the floor two inches. Try to relax your face and your thumbs. Press the earth with your hands and feet. Four and five. Downward dog. Downward face. Bring your heart towards the earth, uplift low belly, head hanging down. So the energy of this pose starts with the pressing of the heels of your hands. Do you need to reset, refine your hands at all? And then bow down, let your head hang. Try to reach your heels towards the ground. Knees bent is fine. One more breath out. Exhale, weight back into the legs. Inhale, weight towards the arms. Exhale, back. Try that once more. Pull forward towards the plank and back. Use your low belly lift to help you move and release. Step forward, pick up your hands as you need to continue your journey. Pelvis tipped forward, come into standing forward fold. Elbow holding, open feet, and five slow, slow breaths, rocking this pose. This is a, helps us get earth energy into our bodies through the soles of the feet, calms our nervous system. Next time you breathe in, Make it a five count. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Rock, breathe. Gently try to straighten your legs a little more. And breathe out once more. You know what happens in your body when you start thinking about standing up until your legs and feet activate that readiness, hands to your pelvis, it's spine long, press your feet, stand. Exhale, hands into your heart center, step to the top section of your mat. 
feet a little easy wide. Make that earth connection standing practice. It's grounding practice. Shoulders relax, arms relax, empty. Coat sleeves. This practice is called we're going to swing the arms side to side about 10 times. So over towards the right, over towards the left. Mindful, please. A little soft in your knees. Not too fast. Yoga as an energy practice. Just a few more times. And gently knock your arms into your body, wrap them around. Even it out, another one each way. Find center. Ground your front ribs together and down and come to big tree pose, big star pose. Shoulders down, arms reach, palms face inward. 10 breaths, Turn legs. So here we're lifting the back body and rounding the front body to cope with this arm position. Seven, it's okay if this is challenging, it is. Eight, we can be victorious over the running thoughts. Exhale, release down your arms. Pause a moment, take it in. Saluting the sun, step your feet underneath your hips. Weave your fingers. Inhale, press up to the sky. Again, lift the back ribs and the front. Release your hands, fold forward. Catch the backs of your legs, fold in, breathe out. Hands to shins, inhale. Straight through the top of your head, not back bend, but extension. Exhale, both legs back, plank pose. Use the process in that exhale, try to Breathe out and do all of that. Hold steady, eight breaths. If your knees come down at some point, that's fine. Bring your thighs towards the sky. It's getting a little stronger at the end of the week. Wide belt around your waist. Also staying calm, breathing deeply. Two more breaths. Exhale, downward facing dog, step in your feet, relax your weight back into your legs now. Relax might be a strong word, but downward dog can be a resting pose, relatively. Sound of breath, exhale, four, shoulders externally rotating. So your neck feels free. Breathe out. Hop forward, bend your knees, light steps or a jump. Fold in, zero judgment, straight legs, release your spine. Stand up, hands to pelvis, extend, press, reach, breathe in. Arms down, breathe out, float them into the sides and gently hug them in, free breath. Mountain pose. Great work on your posture, tall and relaxed. Inhale, weave your fingers the other way. Press up, breathe in. Breathe out, catch the back of your legs. Fold in so the hands gently pull you towards your legs. Press your hands to your shins and lengthen your spine. Wait to breathe out, bring down your hands, then breathe out, step back your legs. One, two. Right knee down, side lunge or side plank, sorry, other foot behind it. Reach up. Optional, make it the rainbow side bend where you side bend over your ear with your arm. Exhale. 
and fifth breath, navel towards the spine. Release, other side, knee down, side planks, the knee, hand, foot in alignment, press your heel and open. Challenge yourself to ground both feet. Bring your arm over your ear if it feels nice. Two, three, hello side body. Four, five. Release your arm from the side bend. Come back to center. Back to child's pose, wide knees. Both arms walk to the right to any degree. Just till you feel a nice side lengthening. And bring down your head and breathe. Breathe in the energy of each pose. Forward folds calm the nervous system. Let yourself be calmed. Breathe out again. Take your time. Inhale up to cow spine, tabletop hard forward, no escapes. Exhale, cat spine, tuck, press your hands, curl. Twice more. Last one. Nose gaze to navel gaze. And then release back into wide child's other side, latissimus release, head down. Hips can be high or low. Five. Turn to center, come to dolphin pose. Hands together, they may weave. If your shoulders feel tight, you can take your hands to the earth instead. So there's three different positions. Dive your arms forward so you can rise up off your knees, tuck under your toes, lift it up, head down. Try to press your legs back. Forearms press the earth. Shoulders external, so your neck feels free. One more deep breath, uplift in the belly. Walk your feet back one at a time. Maybe knees down, but just wiggle side to side on your feet to come to your forearm plank and then to your belly. Release your legs a little wide on your mat. Bring your chest down. Turn your head to the right side, shoulders off the ears. Grab your front body. Not letting the shoulders fall towards you with gravity. Keep them down on your back. It's the only real effort here. Return to center, change your head to the other side only. Keep drawing your shoulders down your back. Heels fall outward, relax your legs. Exhale. Head to center, bring your feet together, reaching through your feet, pointing your toes. Let your big toes touch. Feel your legs come together and zip up. Zip up to the Pelvis, draw your hands by your chest, come to cobra spine, five breaths. So this activity in the legs helps us lift. Stay calm. Don't overly squeeze your legs, one more breath. Exhale, come down. Back to dolphin, come off the belly. Tuck under your toes, lift up, walk in. Five more breaths. Flowing out towards your hands with your head and back between your elbows. And 
and five. Knees down wide, release your toes, pull back. Rise up for the revolt, the threading the needle version of um, wide child's pose, knees in wide child's pose. If you need to add a little cushioning or support, you can add that here. Bring your right hand behind your skull, open to the side, breathe in. Breathe out, bring your elbow towards your other elbow. Twice more. Once more, releasing our mid-back stiffness. And then come through, carefully lower to the side of your skull. Keep your hand on the floor for support, letting it change so you feel open lines of energy. I changed that angle a lot when it came down, angle of the hand. Four, one more deep breath on the side, go slowly, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, up and out, open. Release. Other side, if we find those plank arms and hands. Hand behind the skull, left side, inhale, open. Exhale, elbow to elbow. Again, inhale, breathe. Breathe to open. Again. through, and this time, thread and lower to your skull above your ear, other side. Maybe reset your hand on the earth to support as we roll towards the back of the skull a little bit. Practice where your body feels right. Challenging is okay, no pain. Breathe out again. Inhale energy, press, open, stretch that in breath, and release down. Downward dog, five breaths, rocking if you like, settling in stillness, hanging your head down. Breathe out once more. Uplift in the low belly helps you step your right foot forward outside of your right hand. Open your right arm up towards the sky. Use your whole body. Four and five. Downward facing dog, rest. Other side, left foot. Steps forward, just comfortably angled out with your knee and toes. Open out your heart. Deep breath again. Exhale, downward facing dog. Make your way to the front of your mat again and fold in, breathe out. Process of standing. Bring your tips touch as you reach. Arms down as you breathe out. Let your body receive this information. From the top of your mat, have a moment for preparation in your body. Centering, mindful standing, and turning on your concentration. Preparing to step your right foot back to the high lunge, to the ball of your foot. Steady your eyes out in front, hands at your heart or at your pelvis. This can help you use your, your core muscles at your hands at your center. Okay, right leg back to the ball of the foot, bend your front knee. Work your way into that high lunge and lower straight down and rise. 
Herzen aktiviert werden dürfen. Extend you lower. And then release. Angle your back heel in. Warrior A, have a moment to square towards the front. Add some tail tuck energy. Hands to your sacrum. Open your heart. Bend knees over the ankle. Breathe out. Arms up, hands together, bend your elbows, hands behind, rest your head into your arms. Gaze off your nose. Back arch is lifted, driving the pose with the back leg. Five, straighten your front leg, release your arms and bring down your hands. Bend your knee again. And return to the ball of your foot, coming out by bringing your leg forward up into your chest and kick it out. At least just do your best. The other side, concentration on, step back to the ball of your foot. Refine both feet to come into that high lunge shape. Pulse up and down. Lower and release. Warrior A, angle the back heel. Hands to sacrum, fingers down. Helps encourage the tail tucking energy to keep your low back long. Let us pull the elbows wide this time, white fingers. Front knee stays centered. One more time, deep breath. Stretch your chest. Gaze down. Straighten your front leg for a moment. Return to the ball of your back foot. Bend your knee. Concentrate. Step forward. Bring your knee towards your chest. Breathe out. Kick it up. And let be. Deep bend of your knees. Step to the right side of your mat, turning out your toes toward the corners. Go out towards your right side, let your knee bend towards your toes and then press off. Go the other way and press off, standing up twice more on each side. Press. Press. Let's come over. To the first side for a hole, resting on the bent knee, maybe to the floor. And if you'd like to pivot onto your heel and lift your toes, add that flourish. Only if it brings you peace. Uyana Banda, navel towards the spine. Four. Five. Release to center, wide forward fold, swing out your heels a bit, head down. Lunge over the other way, turn out your toes and knee again, come for the hold. Stay on the leg, maybe the floor. Maybe the pivot to the heel, lifting the back toes. Be where you are. We're here to reduce suffering, not increase it. One more breath out. Come to center, wide forward fold, wherever you reach is fine. Trace up your legs, stand up. Breathe out. Right side, triangle pose. Turn your right foot to the back of your mat. Angle your other foot in just a bit and reach up and down as you lean over. Grounding your lower hand. Navel hugs in towards the spine, below the breath. Exhale. Breathe in, up and out. Change your feet. Breathe out, over and down. Ground your hand. Look towards the sky. Shoulders stay down into the body. Breathe 
breathe out once more. Rise up, warrior B, almost done with our standing poses. So hips to the sides, stretch out into that wide stance, float your arms, bring your front ribs underneath. I steady off your front fingertips. Not worrying about getting it all perfect, it's just practice. Move to the other side, knee over ankle. Equally. The exhale, wait for it. Inhale, press up. Just make your way back to the top section of your mat. Pause for a moment, feel your energy. Reach up to the sky one more time. Arms where you feel good, wide or up the center. Again, arms where they feel good, forward fold. Easier than when you first did it today. Half lift, breathe in. Exhale, step back. Knees down. And back to child's pose. Coming to sit with your left knee forward on your mat. So go all the way to your seat for Svastikasana variations. So we have the outside of that front leg on the ground or above it, and then the inside of the back leg is on the ground. So the radiating spokes follow our chest out over that shin of the front leg to integrate and out and down. I can bow forward. Start to slow down your heart rate. Perhaps sensing that movement of energy in the body. So the prana is not the breath, but it moves with the breath. The vital energy. Chi. Exhale one more time. Walk in, rise up. Second variation, heading towards your front leg and keep going. Try to bring your belly towards the floor a little bit or a lot. Lateral movement. Just where it feels good to you. One more breath. Walk back to center. Rise up and walk towards the back. So now coming into rotation, into spinal twist. Look back. Ground your legs. And five. Release, coming to the other side. Do the break dancing spin around movement. So come to that outer front leg, inner back leg. Position on your mat so that your bony parts are supported with a little cushioning. Feel the foundation. Follow your heart forward a little bit or a lot. Let your head come down. What can you soften? Forward breath. So patient, just bring your awareness back to your breath when it wanders off. Breathe with your exhale. Walk it in, turn towards the front leg, keep turning. You're gonna lie down onto your chest. It's not a big movement necessarily. Just feel a sense of lengthening your lateral body on the left side, especially. Good. 
being attention. Exhale complete. Last one. Center up, tall spine, rotation, look back twist. Send your eyes towards the back of your mat. And notice your peripheral vision. How you can see your legs. The space around you. But your, your focus is at one point. Last breath. Release the rotation, the twist first, and then release your legs. Time to come down. If you want to put socks on for this part of practice or any more clothing, it's a good time. Supported fish pose. You may just lie on your back without any props. If you know how to use the blocks in this pose, you may use blocks. I'm not going to go into it today. Um, I have a tutorial on my YouTube for that pose. Just use a blanket with a rolled edge. It's going to go behind your heart. If you know that you can tolerate a little bit more, you can use a foam roller or you lift a little bit more of a lift in your back bend. You can roll your blanket. Carefully lie down over your prop so that the edge of it lifts your heart up. That's what we're trying to do here is lift our hearts. Legs can be wherever they feel good. Just take a moment to arrange yourself, check in, make sure if you're on a support that it's not too much. It will be a little bit energizing because of the back bend, but it is also supported back bend. So let yourself rest into your support. Check in with where your arms feel good. Decide where your legs want to be. Knock your knees together or take them wide, feet together. Legs stretch out. This is a restorative yoga pose. Get as comfortable as you can. Relax and enjoy your breathing. Be present with the feelings that the inhale and exhale bring. The way the body moves with the breath. The contraction of exhale. The expansion of inhale. And when we are still, we can be really slowly, really deeply, a little bit at a time. Be more dense. Letting the breath stretch as deeply as it can, both ways. Letting your shoulders stretch away from your heart center. Just one more time. Swallow to release your throat. Bend your knees again if you've stretched out your legs. Carefully roll over to one side. Press up off the support. Let's keep using that blanket. So you can spread it out, maybe tuck it over one more time to make it a little thicker and so sit upon it. So I'm turn sideways, but stay on your mats. Elevate your sitting bones with your blanket and counter pose to that back bend, this forward fold. So some choices here are supporting the knees from behind. 
We're reaching out towards your feet. Toes sink forward today instead of drawing back. Bring awareness to your low belly with love and ask it to draw in towards the spine and then come up slightly, breathe in. Hug your navel in, breathe out once more. Inhale, rise. Bring your left leg into Janusirsasana. Just keep the other leg straight. Bring that foot to your inner leg. Now draw back your toes and breathe out. Fold forward with one leg bent to the side. And we want to reach out as far as we can and then come down. Just the right amount for your body with everything. It's okay to move with your breath. Fourth one, inhale, make space for it. That's where the growth happens. Exhale and soften into the shape. One more time, maybe not quite as dramatic, but come up slightly, breathe in. Breathe out, linger. Place your hands on the earth, walk yourself back upright with some support. Bending as the left leg straightens out for the second side. So then we'll see how you do with this elevation. And if you like it, you can use it in the future to help your forward bends. Breathe in, breathe out, come out and down. Go slowly, feel your way in. And that's going to be where everything feels supported today. Close your eyes for a moment and let your gaze fall between your eyebrows. There's that space of your third eye, the Anya chakra. Softening command center. And noticing how there's a calming place in the nervous system here. The vagus nerve wanders close to the surface, calming point. Make space for that last breath. Breathe in, stretch out. Breathe out, fold in. Walk your hands in. And release to your back, possibly moving yourself somewhere in your room so you could prop your legs up on something. So here I could lie here and put my knees, bend them onto the bed, or I'm going to place my legs up onto the Doorway, so have a little choice with your legs up. You can also just stay on the mat, lift up your legs. If you wanna try it with a little support. Your choice, some kind of upside down legs. Feel the sensation. Grounding your back body. Draining the energy of the legs towards the heart. Notice if your toes instantly get a little colder. A little tingling is okay, just a little bit. If you have a lot of tingling, then you can just bring your legs down. And 10. Let's have a, a second option. You could do wide legs or cross legs at your wall if you're on the wall, or something like happy baby pose. Make this choice 10 more breaths upside down. You 
do well with some counting. If your brain is really logical and restless, count the breaths. Try to stay true to my word. That's nine. Last one. Finish your breath. Release your legs down. So if you're at the wall, you roll over to one side for that process of coming away. Coming into resting pose. Your blanket may be used a lot of ways here. Where do you need it the most? Lifting your head so your forehead is higher than your chin, maybe under your knees. Anywhere on top of you, it's going to have a grounding effect. Take a little time with that and then take a little time to notice so that you are comfortable on your back body, that your shoulder blades are drawn down and together. You have enough space for your low back. Allow your arms and legs to relax. Deep breath in, whole body, curl your toes, squeeze your hands a little bit. Exhale, open out your mouth, release the sound, relax everything. Soften your hands and feet. Let your breath have permission to be free again from your direction. But not from your noticing. your belly release any holding as well so that it moves with your breaths. This process of letting go of your efforts. The wind outside is strong. You may still feel grounded from your practice. When you feel unsettled in other ways, imagine yourself feeling emotionally unsettled. Let your body help you settle and ground. mentally unsettled, ground into your body. Just rest with that knowledge. Just like in the rest of practice, if your mind wanders away, ask it to come back to the present moment. Breathing in peace. Breathing out calmness.
Notice the next time you breathe out. And then swallow to release your throat. When you breathe in next time, let your belly expand, your heart breathe up into your throat. Exhale, heart, belly, pelvic floor. Inhale, belly, heart, collarbones. Exhale, heart, belly, roots. Three breaths. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Activate your limbs and stretch them. Breathe out, go back to stillness. Breathe in, lengthen the right side of your body, reaching up and down. And release, breathe out. Left side of the body, stretch. And relax. Transition to your seat. Stay really present with your body, the process, taking care, moving with mindfulness. Perhaps putting that blanket underneath, or just have it where it is optional to sit on it. Once again, for finishing, cross legs, come in full circle, draw your feet in close, fold your knees. Yoga Madrasana, catch your arms, Behind your back, catch your hands, hold your opposite wrist or hold your fingers. Breathe in, sit tall, lift your heart, gaze down. Breathe out, bow in. Sealing our practice, yoga mudrasana, the whole body is the seal. Inhale, rise to release. Exhale, bring your hands together at the center. Bring your chin down. One moment, listening to your own heart. Exhale, seal your hands into your heart center. Lift your chin, inhale. Um. Keep breathing out as long as it goes. Soften and pause. Receive the benefits of the practice. And then open your hands and share them. Increasing peace, one person at a time. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. Sharing this practice, go strong. There's a lot of that strength building in this today. Let me know if there's anything that you have questions about.